Denver police are changing their strategy to fight fentanyl, a new way to track down dealers in this epidemic of overdoses that seems to be moving faster than our solutions. Our Nusha Roy looks at DPD's plans and skeptics' concerns. This is Lieutenant Aaron Revitrano, 20 years in law enforcement, 15 with Denver police. My worry is I have a high school age son. My worry is he goes to some social gathering, some party, and somebody comes with one of these pills and you know it's the last time you see your loved one. His dedication is personal. Experience the loss of a loved one to addiction. Um, it affects everybody immediately around that person. Today we talked about DPD's newly created fentanyl investigation team, a team of one sergeant, five detectives, to try and disrupt the groups bringing drugs in Denver and investigate overdose deaths to find dealers. The ultimate bad guy of drugs, uh, this is it. The team was created because of how bad the fentanyl problem has become, but also because of the new law that increases penalties for dealing fentanyl. But even those who help write the law told us before how tricky prosecution can be. You have to show the person person who is distributing the pill knew it was fentanyl. So the idea is to become experts in fentanyl investigations through a dedicated team, become familiar with medical examiners, district attorneys and community partners, and hopefully move faster since before investigators were split in a lot of directions. But they're also tasked with um, dealing with neighborhood problems and neighborhood drug dealing. You know, law enforcement in the past, addiction was a crime and that was really simple. Now we know it is a mental health issue, it is a substance abuse, abuse issue. It's not enough of a change in approach for Lisa Ravel though with the Harm Reduction Action Center. We chatted over email today and she wrote, you don't get the cartel that way or even mid-level sellers. You only get low-level sellers who are also people who use drugs. And that prohibition, criminalization, and the drug market brought us fentanyl and will bring us the next synthetic opioid. We're already seeing new drugs off of the East Coast. It's bringing back familiar concerns now that knowingly possessing more than a gram of something with fentanyl is a felony. And Rayville said it's going back to trying to arrest their way out of the problem, which hasn't worked in five decades and ultimately takes away from people getting help. You can't arrest your way out of some of these problems. It's obvious and it's been it's been uh, tried over and over again. It just doesn't work. But um, removing those people who are dealing is important as well. So we asked Denver police more about that last worry about people getting in trouble who could actually benefit from getting help. They said they're not looking for people who are addicted or using drugs and that they do approach people with resources, reiterating throughout the interview that that is going to be the key in this kind of situation, Kyle. And uh, Anusha, it seems like uh, it really comes down to where resources are going to be applied and who specifically ends up being the target, right? Yeah, 100%. And, you know, I was talking to Dr. Valak about this. He's kind of tapped across the state as a drug addiction expert, and he was saying that this does have the potential to streamline those investigations. It could actually help with prosecution, but mm -hmm. ultimately it is going to come down to where do police draw the line? Who do they actually ultimately focus on? And then that is going to determine what are the benefits and what are the issues that come out of a program like this. Anusha, thank you.